Uh-oh, Lazuli Label coming back out with the V-Seam 2.0 in three brand new beautiful colors. I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, wait, whoa, 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 Wash. Didn't you just do a Lazuli Label video like two weeks ago? Is this deja vu, Groundhog Day? Like what's happening here? If you know, you know, V-Seam 2.0. <laughs> has quickly become one of my favorite leggings at the moment. That's right, I said it. There's a whole lot to love about these leggings. Very excited to see them come out with a brand new color palette. Now, seeing as I just did a full review of these two weeks ago, if you need more of an in-depth, intense review of the leggings and the top, check out my latest Lazuli label video. I will have it linked down in the description box below. But for right now, we're gonna go over the new colors, all the good juicy stuff you need to know before you shop the launch. So we got a lot of girl chatting to do, so definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I do plan to review Lazuli every single month or at least during every single new launch. So if you're a fan of the brand or any other Instagram brands for that matter, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm actually very excited. This is the first time that I'm featuring pieces that have yet to hit the website. Those of you who have used my code GATA to support me really do appreciate it. It helps my relationship with the brand. This way we can keep these kinds of videos coming. This code also does give you 10% off of any Lazuli label order. So feel free to use it, save yourself some bucks and always Please let me know if you do so I can personally thank you. If you're looking for high quality, seamless undies to wear underneath your gym leggings, look no further. Empowered by You, AKA Ebby, offers such a nice variety of seamless undergarments, whether you're looking for bralettes, full coverage bottoms, high-waisted thongs, even bodysuits. They literally have you covered with all of these things in a very beautiful color palette and even some patterns. What makes Ebby unique is their no slip grip technology. If you look closely on all of their undergarments, they actually have a lining. This works as a grip against the skin that prevents pinching and bunching, and their seamless cuts means no VPL. And I don't know about you, but that's really important when wearing leggings to the gym. I personally have been wearing Ebby for about a year now. What I have to share with you today are their sun-kissed and raindrop bralettes. These are brand new pieces. They both have removable bra pads. You take a look, this bralette is actually adjustable. Neither of them have underwire. So if you're looking for a thin strap adjustable, nice breathable mesh on the back, this bralette I highly recommend. If you're looking for a more straightforward, thicker strap bralette that's non-adjustable, then I suggest the sun-kissed. To pair with the sun-kissed bralette, I also have their sun-kissed brief. This is full coverage. Both of these are perfect for wearing under tight tank tops, dresses, whether they're skin tight dresses or not, these are both very comfortable to wear. Ebby turns 10% of all purchases into small business loans for women all around the world. So a really great cause, really great quality pieces. I highly suggest them. Feel free to use my code Ashley Gata to save 15% off at checkout. I'll also have them linked down below along with my code. If you're curious about my measurements, I will have them right here for your convenience as well as the description box below. And once these pieces go live, Live, I'll have them individually linked down below as well. Speaking of going live, these pieces will be launching Friday, April 7th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Always keep tabs on my stories. I'll have a whole countdown reminder and things like that for you so you don't miss out. Everything is in my true size small. The three new colors you can expect to see, Burnt Rose. The Burnt Rose is a very faded maroon. It actually does look like a dried out rose, so I probably would have named it Dried Rose. Let's take a look at the ash gray. Now this is the most neutral, lightest piece you're gonna find in this collection. I feel like this color is the piece you wanna use if you plan to mix and match within this range. This ash gray goes with both of these colors beautifully. And Persian blue. I'm wearing the Persian blue top right now. Do you wanna know why? It wins in my book. This blue is so freaking beautiful, it, it hurts. <laughs> in such a good way. When you go too light with blues, it can almost look white. You go too dark, it's like, okay, navy, indigo, you're getting more darker seasonal vibes. This right here is such a beautiful spring and or summer color. Along with these three color leggings, you can expect the matching long sleeve open back pieces as well. Do keep in mind, the long sleeve tops are slightly different material than the leggings. They have a little bit of a different shade. 
You'll also notice if you look closely on these leggings, especially on the burnt rose, you can see there's a little marl. So there's a little bit of a white breakup, very faint. The open back long sleeves, however, are very solid colors. So they don't quite look like the same shade just because the leggings look a little bit lighter with that marl. Out of these three colors, the ash gray fit the snuggest. Not a crazy difference, nothing to get scared over. But out of all of them, this one did feel the most snug. I would still definitely stick with my true size small in all of these. If you're in between, given its insane stretch, then I would say size down. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how squat proof these are. I do believe it's the thick material that does it. I think this goes without say, the ash gray would be the sheerest out of all of them. So even though these are relatively breathable, there is a thickness to them. The band especially, this is a double layered, very thick ribbed band. Overall moderate compression, they still kept every single beautiful attribute of this legging from the previous launch. They really did something right with the V seams. When you first pull these leggings out of the package, the actual glute seam literally looks like it's two inches big. This glute seam, you see how small it is? You're almost gonna panic when you see it. You're like, what the hell? How are my glutes gonna fit into that? That's impossible. Believe me, they'll fit. This material is made of magic. It stretches right around the glutes. It makes your booty look like a heart. Because this seam is relatively small, but the material is so stretchy, this automatically hugs your glutes in a way that makes it look like you are wearing a scrunch. I don't know about you, but I feel like this is where the trend is going. I feel like I'm seeing more and more brands coming out with very functional glute seams that work as scrunches without it being a physical obnoxious scrunch. I love this minimal look. It looks literally effortless when wearing it. I think brands are catching on to this technique because I'm starting to see them a lot more. Now in terms of length, when first putting them on, they do seem to be a bit long on me. This type of material with its stretch can absolutely be played with not only around the glutes, but just shimmied up and smoothed around. For me, five foot three, I can really play with this and it works. Now I do get a little bit of a dreaded CT in these leggings, even with underwear, but I would still wear all of these colors to the gym and not think twice. If cellulite concealment, sweat concealment, things like that are super important to you, I would obviously steer away from the ash gray. This is what's gonna highlight that a little bit more. The sweat, however, if you remember from my previous video, it does show sweat. This material's pretty thick. Gets a little bit soggy. I don't know about you, but I really could use some shorts. What about it, Lizuli? What about it? Can we get some? I mean, summer is right around the corner. I don't know about you, but I'm really hoping that comes next. Just cut it off maybe right below the rib. I still wanna keep that moto ribbing because it really just puckers me up where I like it. It's maybe like right beneath it. Now I know a few of you ordered this legging during the last launch, okay? Now what I wanna do is ask you guys, if you've tried it, please comment down below your thoughts. What did you think? Before we sign off, I did wanna just briefly go over the tops. These are the open back long sleeves that match the leggings. I do love a good long sleeve and it really looks so elegant, but with me being somebody who rarely works out in long sleeves, I could use a sports bra or two. I mean, the leggings are already so flattering, so I feel like a functional sports bra that's also equally flattering is just the logical next step, right? And some shorts thrown in the mix? Come on, no. I'm sitting here putting pressure on them when they literally just came out with this legging. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the long sleeve real quick. Now, it is a full open back. It looks so beautiful without wearing anything, like right now. I went commando under my long sleeve last video, and guess what? I did today, too. I made sure it was really nice and warm in here. If you're somebody who doesn't feel comfortable with wearing nothing underneath this, Choose your sports bra carefully because it will be seen. If I were you, I would probably wear something very strappy on the back. Use this giant open back as a canvas. There's so much space for creativity with this. These are not my typical workout long sleeves. I would still stick with my true size small. If in between though, this is the piece I would suggest sizing up in. Just because there's not a crazy amount of stretch in these. So in between, size down in the leggings and size up in the long sleeve. All right guys, so that concludes today's video. What are we thinking about the new Lazuli V Seam 2.0? <laughs> Colors. I'm just being ridiculous. I think they slayed the color palette. I mean, obviously, the more colors the better, so I would have loved to see like 20 new colors. <laughs> 
Now I know this is still a fairly new range, so baby steps, I get it. But if you wanted to double up on the color palette, you would not hear me complain. <laughs> What color are you looking at getting, if any? Comment down below. Again, these drop April 7th, that's Friday. And if there's anything I didn't touch base on that you're curious about, obviously let me know. Comment down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and I will catch you in my next video.